Hey guys, DMike here, hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Out on the open sea, we just went to Northern Fairy Island, got so swole with cash, and now we're going on a mission to play with our balls. If you like being swole with cash and progressing the story, like this video, comment, and subscribe. Before we do all that, before we can move the narrative along, we got a little bit of work to do. And I only say that because I made a promise. I think it was a promise, or I just alluded to something in the previous episode. And I want to make good on it. I'm a man of my word, sometimes. And I couldn't find the thing that I was after. But I did find it, because it's right here. So I was looking for some seagulls when I was hanging around Tingle Island. So here we go. Now that we have bombs, we can finally do this fight. Now we have a very s small array of bombs, unfortunately, so we need to be pretty careful with these. But these big octo fights are made marginally easier with the acquisition of bombs. Every every successful bomb hit does take out the eyeballs, which are kind of annoying to try to hit because it wriggles around when you hit it. So it's kind of tough to get the direct hits, especially when his arm is all floppy and stuff and gross. Ugh, floppy arms. Get your floppy arms out of here. So one thing that I'm going to be mindful of as I'm trying to take these eyeballs out is you want to at least keep one bomb for yourself. However many you have, the game gives you 30 to start, but you're going to definitely want to keep one. So we got one more, one more use left. All right, that's pretty good. I mean. All things considered, pretty successful amount of damage that we've done. This fight's kind of annoying just because it is timed, and he's a bozo. So get your boomerang out. It's the only other way that I know of to damage him. This fight, you gotta be quick though, like Sanic. If you aren't fast enough, you will get sucked into the whirlpool. Oops, that's not good. Come back. <laughs> I need you right now. I need you! Alright. So we should be pretty close to being done. Is it going to hit the top? There we go. That's a successful battle. It's a good way to start off a video, viewers. What do you think? Killing off some giant aquatic sea life. Why not? Just a nice... Nice way to start the day with murder. Who doesn't love that? And you get a nice prize for it. Murder is always rewarded. And what is our prize that we're going to cruise on over to, viewers, you might ask? First try. Let's see what we get. This is something useful, of course. I wouldn't lead you astray, I promise. Very cool. So it's a piece of heart. We didn't take any damage, which is nice, but it's still pretty cool. All right. So get your Wind Waker out. And do a little bit more work first. We're going to get blown to the east. This is very useful too. This is actually probably more useful than what I just did. But if we look at our map real quick, there's the swirly doos here. And this is where the game wants you to go. And we will. But first things first, besides being the realist, there's one other thing I want to pick up. And you're going to watch this. And you're going to think to yourself logically, why didn't you do this first? And the reason is because it wasn't as close as the other thing. But I planned it all out. This was all part of the plan, viewers. Part of my righteous plan. These sharks are pretty annoying. Not just because they're sharks, but because they keep ruining the great sea music. Please stop. You can take them out with bombs, but... I have no real interest in doing that. Let's see. We're almost there. There is our destination way over there. Just north of the mast of the boat. It's going to look pretty similar to where we were at the end of the previous video. So ignore the floating turret. I don't actually know if there's anything up there. 
Is that one of the ones that shoots crap at me? Oops. Excuse me. I'm actually kind of curious. I mean, I'm already here. Oop. Get out of the boat. Did that say you could... Oh, speaking to the boat. I was like, is that letting me speak to Jaws? Hey, uh, did you want to just eat me? That would have been very strange. I don't think Link knows how to speak to fish. But there is a couple of bacoblins here. So get out your grappling hook. Boop. Hello, thanks. I'm just gonna smack you right in the face. Give me a goodies, give me a goodies. Oh yeah. Woo! Hello, excuse me. Excuse me. Trying to do a sp spin slice. Spin attack, the spin a rooney. Do I get anything for that? Okay, probably not. This looks like this is another one of those turrets that is dependent, or whatever you want to call these outposts. That's dependent on blowing the turrets up, and I don't really have the means to do that right now. We're running a little bit low on explosives in the moment, but that's okay. So we got a little distracted, that's fine, as we do. But this is an important spot for two reasons. One, first, treasure, viewers, come on. You know what we're about to do. You know what we're about to do. We're about to first go right past it on accident, because I wasn't looking at the map. I was looking at the the buttons. We're just going to cruise on over to it. We're just cruising. Just a nice slow cruise. It's a little ASMR. Get right up in your ear, ear balls. Oh, yeah. It's totally worth it. Wait till you hear the music cue. First try. This is actually one of the best items in the game. If you're a capitalist, 200 rupees, nothing to snooze at. Sneeze at? I don't know what the word is. That's okay. But, this is why I told you that you needed to save one of those bombs. We got another one of these fairy huts. But, they're feeling a little shy. So maybe we bring a little bit of excitement to the party. Maybe some fireworks, perhaps? Okay. And get the heck out of the way. Oh, yeah. No more staying inside for you. I'm coming in. They're probably like, ugh. I put this here on purpose. But this is incredibly useful. Especially considering that we are fresh out of pew pews. This will make the game a lot easier. The manifestation of this upgrade is a lot cooler in like Link's Awakening because you get this from Viren or whatever his name is, the bat, where he makes it seem like he's doing you a disservice by giving you an upgrade. But this is actually incredibly useful. And we're very appreciative to have this. This, my friends. Oh, yeah. That's more bombs. You best believe it. And if you need fairies, of course, after you're done here, there are a bunch. We, of course, have soup and Baja Blast. So we don't need anything. I would love to get more bottles. I believe there's four in this game, but we're not there yet. We have 60 bombs, which is the current max that we can have. Super, super useful. I don't know how many you realistically need for the upcoming dungeon, but 60 is a lot. That's the second tier upgrade for it. I believe that there's one of those types of upgrades for all of them. Actually, I wanted to go west, not east. Oops. I don't know my directions. Surprising. You could put money on anything. I'm not a gambler, but if you could do a uh, an in-game bet of me playing this. You could just be betting times D might gets lost. And if the over under was set to like two or three, always pick the over. 
That is guaranteed money on the house. So we're going to head west. We're going to start playing with these balls, getting them going. We got a story to progress. Oop, oop, and we are going to sail with a wide berth of this. I do not want to touch that. Don't get anywhere near these cyclones. It's very annoying what happens if you get stuck with them. I'll just give you a heads up. It poo-poos you somewhere that you don't want to be. All right, but first thing, this is one of three of the Triangle Islands. Oh look, it's a Pikmin. Or maybe one of those gyroids from Animal Crossing, perhaps? These things are real creepy. Let's go ahead and toss that first pearl in here. Oh. I mean, I would probably would freak out, too. So first is Din's Pearl. From Kamali, he gave us this one, if you remember that. Being the anxious, awkward teen that he is. Actually, I don't know how old Rito are, but you get the idea. So that's first. I mean, I like the kind of the glow effect, but these things are incredibly creepy. And as we'll see in a little bit, those clay statues for some reason are obstructing something else. All right, so now that we're here, get your Wind Waker out, or just remember where you're going. I like to do it this way because I don't have to think about it as much, and I'm here to have fun. I didn't come here to play school. All right, so we're gonna be sailing to the south. We're going to skip these submarine boys because they don't really offer us anything. Besides just, hey, did you know that you can salvage things? Thank you. So we don't need that. There's another reef as well. I think those are like the, the ruins things. If you want to, you can go into those sometimes and occasionally they'll be absolutely surrounded by tons of little treasure circles. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Fish here. I don't really have any incentive to completely finish the map or anything like that, but, you know, while I'm here, feed the fish. Do you like aquariums, viewers? I like aquariums. Let's see what advice he has. He's going to help us out. These, of course, there's always one fish per square. And this is the Six Eye Reef. Pretty cool looking. Okay. So he's encouraging us to be a burglar. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely one of the creepiest characters in the game. He's greedy, and he's a criminal. Great. He would fit in with politicians. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and put our Deku leaf back there. And I believe we were headed this direction anyway. Get off the map. Yes, yeah, so we need to go a little bit this way. Woo. If you look at the compass, notice how I said compass, not compass. I watched a video recently where a guy said compass, Mario, ocarina, museum, missile. I'm like, dude, you are checking all the boxes of things that are just not how you say those words. It's not even like he had an accent. He was just saying them, in my opinion, wrong or cavern instead of cavern. I'm like, dude, what is happening, Captain? Looks like there actually is another. Oh, there's a beetle shop. What is a beetle shop doing out here? I'm not trying to pad this episode out, by the way. I'm just kind of just cruising. Exploring a little bit. My notes did not include any of this, so we're going off script a little bit, but that's okay. We got plenty of cash. Ooh, there's bombs if you need them. Oh! I don't know if I need these, but I will do it. We're trying to get to that 30... Mark, I don't know if that really benefits me. But yeah, the beetle shops do sell bombs. Bye. And there's actually a special beetle shop. Which we're not going to invest any time in today. 
But there is a special beetle shop that if you do visit, he will sell you some extra special goodies. Whoa! Yeah, these things are terrifying and I hate them. Whoever designed them, I hope you step on a Lego. Get away from me! I think they're only aggressive when you're in the boat. So they're just, they just really hate sailing. Alright, here we go. Pearl number two. This, I believe, is Nehru's Pearl. Blue one. This is from Jaboon. So we're going in... Not Well, we could have gone in order, I guess, but I, I kind of screwed it up. So we got Din's Pearl first. We got that from Kamali. We got Nehru's Pearl from Jaboon, our boy. As we sail right into these things. Oh my goodness, get away from me. And there's another one of these fairy huts over here. I wasn't planning to go to this, but you know, when on the great ocean, what do you do? Or see, sorry. You see what I did? No, I just messed that up. Is this the one I just went to? I don't think so. We went to the northern one. We went to the... This one's, like it's got, this one's boarded up, maybe? Can we get into this one? I don't know if we can blow this one up or not, or if this is story dependent that it doesn't want us here. Let's try with bombs real quick, although I have a feeling that this is... This is a story beat that you have to come back for later when you get something a little bit more fiery. Oops. Well done, me. Okay, that was not close enough. Let's go ahead and try to do this the right way. Whoop. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, never mind. When in doubt, blow it out. Or up. Everything can be solved with explosives. Alright, I don't know what this is. But, you know, it's on the way, sort of. So might as well. Pick it up while we can. <sighs> I like her bonnet. And their dead, lifeless eyes. What are you going to give us? This might be overkill for this part of the game, I don't know. I mean, the Great Sea is wide open, so realistically you can do this whenever you want to. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Like I had said before, the 60 bomb bag is very much the intermediate upgrade, but now we have all the bombs. This was not planned. This was not in my notes. This was a result of ADHD simulator kicking in hard. But we have 99 bombs now, so we're pretty much unstoppable. All those great Octorok things better watch out because I'm coming for ya. And there's also a fish over here. Let's cruise on over to him. Where you at, boy? Can you stop moving? I need to give you some food. Ooh, that was a little awkward. Yeah, we're just kind of winging it right now. It's all good, viewers. It's for your health. Let's see what other criminal advice these guys are going to give us. So this, my friends, is Butt Cheek Island. I didn't even see what it said. Okay. Digging? That sounds like something that would be helpful if we had a dog. Or maybe a pig. Do pigs dig? I don't know. Dig that pig. Okay. So that's very cool. Um, thank you for that. Now we need to... Because we are way out of the way. But with our swift sail, we're doing just fine. We're going to head to the north. It's bad that I had to think about that. Check the map real quick. We're already pointed in the right direction. So let's go ahead and get a grooving. Those things that we did, those little addendum side quests, are the only ones for the day, I promise. We are moving this plot along, I promise. I'm doing it for this family. I'm providing for this family. Alright. And actually, let's go ahead and switch back to... Get off me. Nope, nope. 
I, okay, never mind. I'm just going to go with this. I'm just going to let the game take me where it wants to go. With a creepy lack of music. That's something that always bothered me when I play these. You know, they could have put they could have put the music in there. But they didn't cuz they're b-holes. And there's probably a treasure around here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I don't want to do another octo fight. I don't know if the seagulls are a guarantee that that's what it, that is, but I ain't super interested. We'll pass on that for now. We got plenty of money, so we don't need any more of that for now. We will. We will want a lot of it. I like how the music is very cheery. It's almost daytime as we're still sailing into this just dark abyss. Yeah, this seems wrong. <laughs> There's the a horrible cataclysmic storm. It's like doo 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 doo. Yeah, game. I think you get your wires crossed here. I'm sailing, but I'm gonna die in this storm. Watch out for cyclones, of course. I move my body like a cyclone. All right, here we go. So this, my friends, is the final of the Triangle Islands. Just gonna cruise on over to it and finish today's deed. And I bet we'll get a cool cutscene for our efforts. What do you think? All right, here's Ferrari's Pearl. Three of three. What I think is interesting is, I believe the three shapes of the goddesses that are present on these statues are the ones that are the same shape of the songs of the harp in Oracle of Ages that let you warp back and forth through time. All right, viewers, prepare yourselves for a cutscene. This is pretty darn cool. And it changes, of course, depending upon which order you put them in the one that you go through last is going to be the one that of course dictates what you'll see that's going to kind of carry the cutscene first uh, they murder Link which is great you know this is actually really nice all the statues were covered in turd crust for some reason and then they turn out to actually be these really nice things there you go beautiful manifestations of the goddesses and this sacred geometry make sure you put it under your bed all right now is that the tower of the gods are you excited to see me This, my friends, is our next dungeon, which they don't actually tell you that that's what this is until you, I think, get into it. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Link. Link has now been murdered twice. And the boat's just like, oh, see you. Nice knowing you, Link. Let's chat while your bones are broken. The Great Reveal. Oh. This tower which the pearls of the gods have caused to appear is a place that the god... I should be doing that voice. Blah, 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 blah. That's actually how he talks, though. He's like, blah, 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 blah. It's a place the gods of the ancient world prepared so that they might test the courage of men. Well, technically, we are a boy. Only one who is able to overcome the trials will be acknowledged as the true hero. Then we can get the power to destroy the great evil. So, of course, we're going to do it. And we believe in ourselves, right, viewers? We can rise above the trial of the gods here in the Tower of the Gods. But that is something that we will be doing next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Keep checking out those YouTube shorts. And like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more as we tackle this dungeon. Bye.